Hey cruisers, welcome to today's live stream. I have been so excited all week for this live stream because I really need help packing light. We are going to be packing uh, carry-on only for our 10-night Caribbean and Panama Canal cruise and we would love your help. So we're gonna talk today all about packing light. In fact, we're gonna be talking about packing carry-on only and we'd love to hear all of your strategies throughout. So today's live stream is sponsored by cruiseline.com where you can compare prices using easy to use cruise search from all kinds of different sites. You can check out more than just that though on cruiseline.com. As you know, there's, there's hundreds of things that you can do from hanging out in the forums to looking at photos of your ship and your cruise to joining the roll call on Shipmate. There's just so much to do. So make sure that you check it out in the description below, as we always say. So Mr. Cruise Tips TV, roll the chat, please. If you guys are wondering when our next live streams are, I'm gonna announce the next two right now. We're going to be um, doing our next live stream on Saturday, November 18th at noon Pacific time. So same time, same place. And then again, December 2nd. Doesn't that feel so far away, you guys? December 2nd, noon Pacific time. Topics on both are to be determined. So they are just on the normal schedule. Every two weeks on Saturday at noon. I know, I miss Vlogtoberfest too, but we're back to our normal schedule, <laughs> back to normal life. This will allow Mr. Cruise Tips TV to get back to editing the rest of our Grand Princess vlogs, which are, there's still a lot of exciting stuff coming up on those, just so you guys know what's left in those vlogs. We have our Victoria, British Columbia uh, vlog coming up, which is gonna be a beautiful one. There was actually a heat wave in Victoria that day, so it was really warm and beautiful, and a couple of sea days. So we have that left, and we have more. We have my Outfit of the Day series coming soon too. We'll have a full ship tour, we'll have a food slideshow, and we did something new this time and did a get ready with me. So we put on my makeup from start to finish on a formal night on that cruise and it was really fun. So lots and lots more videos coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed our Skagway vlog with the White Pass Rail. Wasn't it awesome? Wasn't it so cool just to see the whole experience? I love reliving it. I've watched it 10 times because it was really the trip of a lifetime for us. So we were really, really excited to share that with you. I'm sorry that it took so long, but you know, sometimes these things do take a little while because there's a lot of footage to pour through and choose from. <laughs> and so Mr. Cruise Tips TV was doing his best to bring you the very best. I know a lot of you are making comments about how he got the footage, like, oh my gosh, he was hanging off the side of the train. And it may have looked like it, but really he also uses um, kind of extension poles for our GoPro and things like that. So he could be standing very safely and just stick his arm up and it really looked more dramatic than it was. So don't worry, he was safe the whole time. I promise you guys, I promise, I promise. <laughs> So I wanna make sure I haven't missed any housekeeping items. Oh, make sure that you check out our fun snorkel mask review too on our cruise gear channel. I know a lot of you have already seen it, but we actually, um we got a new product in the mail from a company that makes snorkel masks called Easy Snorkel Mask. But as you guys know, it's fall, so it's it's cold right now and we're not going on a cruise anytime soon. Well, soon, but not soon enough to review the product. So we actually got our wetsuits out of the garage and we took the product to we took the product to the beach and actually kind of went swimming slash snorkeling with it and it was for reason cold, but we had a blast. So be sure to go over to our cruise gear channel and check it out. It was really, I think it was a fun, kind of lighthearted, cute video for lack of a better word. So what do you guys think? Should we get started talking about this packing light topic? I'm gonna pop into the chat really quick and see how everybody's doing, if I can find the chat. I think I've lost it here, which tends to happen. Oh, there we go. Hi everybody, so good to see all of you. Thank you again for joining us in the middle of a Saturday. We really appreciate it. Yes, Ms. Mary, Mr. Cruise Tips TV didn't drop his GoPro. He's got all kinds of secure things. So we're always doing something crazy with the GoPro, either hooking it to our bodies or putting it on the end of some kind of an attachment or something like that. So we have a lot of fun with those cameras and that was a good environment to use the GoPros. GoPros aren't good to film. Um, for everything. So, you know, it's not something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't vlog with our GoPros, generally speaking, because the audio is really poor. So we had a great time with it. So Mr. Cruise Tips TV, will you let me know if any packing light related questions come in? Thank you so much. So if anyone has questions or tips about packing light, please feel free to leave them in the chat now. We love the fact that we can now save the chat on the screen and people can see it in the future, but I'm also selfishly wanting to hoard your tips today. So get them out there, but questions are also very much welcome. So I'm gonna kind of go through what we're thinking about this, this trip and why we're doing it. So 
As I mentioned, our topic today is packing light. We are right in the middle of packing right now for a 10 night warm weather cruise to Panama Canal and the Caribbean on Princess Cruises. We are flying from California to Florida, so that adds another layer of complication and we're going carry on only. So why are we doing this? Why did we choose to go carry on only? Well, most of you know, that we don't really love to fly. Here at Cruise Tips TV, we're spoiled because we live in California and we have several cruise ports, at least three that I can think of, Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco that we can all drive to. None of them are particularly close to us, but we can drive, so we normally do drive. So when we do make the decision to fly to a cruise, it adds this layer of complication for us. And as all of you know, I'm generally quite the overpacker, so this is this is a challenge for us. But we do not want to wait for our bags at the airport. We don't want to have any chance of them being lost, and I don't want to deal with the hassle. So we had set a challenge a few months ago along with you guys to make this happen. So one of the reasons why is because we have we have um, always taken advantage of the laundry services on Princess Cruises. And if you've cruised with Princess, you know that they have excellent self-serve laundromats on every single um, floor that has staterooms. Literally, you guys, Every single floor, my understanding is, has their own laundromat. And they're wonderful. It's $3 per wash and $3 per dry. So for six bucks, I can just do laundry. And to me, it's not unpleasant. I do not mind it at all. I go put the wash in. I might um, go back to my stateroom for 30 minutes, wait for it to be done, go switch it out. My husband helps me fold everything. My son and I enjoy the process. My mom's going with us on this cruise and I know she'll be really helpful. And we're just gonna get it done and it's very easy to pack detergent. So what I've done, because we're packing light, is I've packed little Tide Pods, which I'm gonna put in my TSA bag because they do have some liquid in them. So that's our strategy to save money on not buying um, detergent on board. So again, why we're doing this. We do laundry anyway, it's a warm weather cruise. It's not like we're trying to go Alaska carry on only, which quite honestly, you guys, I don't think I could do it. I think that this is, you know, I'm gonna be able to roll up my dresses and my shorts pretty easily, but if it was, those large clothing items and warm things and multiple pairs of shoes that you have to take to Alaska, I just don't think I could do it. So we like the challenge too. That's the last reason. We like the challenge. Any other reasons, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, that you want to do this or did I hit them all? Is there um, I, think you hit them all. I hit them all. He, don't like waiting, he doesn't like waiting. My husband said, I don't like waiting. So that's the motivation behind this, you guys. Really just trying to be efficient, trying to, you know, take those bags, get them right into the overhead on JetBlue, which is a wonderful airline from what I've heard. Never been on JetBlue. Would love to hear from you guys if you have any experience with that. We're doing round trip um, LAX to Fort Lauderdale on JetBlue, and I've heard nothing but excellent things. So just efficiency is what we're thinking. So Here's some of the strategies that we're planning on employing, how we're gonna do this, and how I think I'm gonna do it, although I'm not done packing yet and I haven't put everything in the bag, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but here are my four strategies. Number one is going to be rolling luggage versus, excuse me, rolling my clothing instead of placing it on hangers or folding it, so no hangers, okay? Number two is um, using packing cubes because packing cubes are obviously a good way to kind of keep things compressed and simple. And number three is going to be using our TSA bag. And number four is just gonna be eliminating a lot of unnecessary things. So obviously, and like I mentioned, not taking the hangers. There's gonna be a lot of other things that just don't get to go with us. So some of the obstacles that I think that we're gonna face on this is that my husband's backpack won't be able to be used as a personal item really because that's gonna be where he keeps all his camera equipment. We take um, a relatively fair amount of camera equipment on a cruise because we're filming so many different types of things. So he'll need one camera for ship tours and another camera for activities that are beach related, like GoPros. And then there are accessories large batteries, um, video cameras, still cameras, a lot of different things. So his backpack is going to be full of camera equipment. So his suitcase is going to be limited to just clothes and he's a big guy. So his clothes are big. So that I consider to be an obstacle. Um, the second obstacle is I'm just an overpacker. I mean, I am a chronic overpacker. This is going to be psychologically challenging for me, but I think I'm ready. I think pulling things out of the bag is gonna be another obstacle for me. So when I get to that point where things don't fit, deciding what to pull out is gonna be tough. So I'm gonna try to start packing early so that I can then give myself time to like separate myself from the items I need to not take and really think about it. Think about what's gonna be uncomfortable, not worn a lot, hard to wash, whatever that may be, wrong color, white will get spaghetti sauce on it, whatever it may be, whatever the reason may be, I need to give myself time to come to terms with pulling out of the bag. Um, and then there's another obstacle here, which is that we are going to need 
to have some cool weather clothing for the trip to and from Florida because it's going to be pretty much winter when we're traveling. So as you guys know, airplanes are freezing and there's that tricky part too. So we have to stay warm on the plane. So hopefully we can come up with some strategies for that. So let's talk again about the strategies that I'm thinking of. And again, when I'm done kind of rattling off all of what I'm thinking about this trip, we'll jump into the chat and we'll spend the rest of the time there just kind of throwing ideas around. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using packing cubes to kind of scrunch things down. So rolling things into the packing cubes and then, you know, keeping them scrunched, which is also another wonderful way to stay organized. And like Roxanne was saying earlier today in the chat before we got started, sometimes I don't even unpack my cubes. I just open them up and put them on the shelf. Many of you here in the chat also do that. And it's a great strategy. So there's many, many reasons to use packing cubes when you're packing. That's just one of them. Um, another strategy I think I'm going to employ is I'm only going to pack three pair of shoes shoes. So here's the plan. My flip-flops, my sneakers, which I'll probably wear on the plane because even though they're not attractive, they are bulky and it would be a very efficient thing to do to wear my jeans and my sneakers on the, the plane. And then the third pair of shoes, and this is different you guys, this is a key strategy for this trip for saving space. I plan to wear the same pair of shoes in the evening to dinner all 10 nights. So the um, the nude sandals that you saw, the nine west wedges that I wore on my last cruise on Grand Princess, those are my only pair of dinner shoes, even for formal night. So I have to very carefully select my formal wear to be fancy enough that it's dressed up enough when I'm wearing wedges, but also to match. So everything that I'm packing has to match nude wedges. So I'm hoping that that strategy will be aggressive because I think leaving out that one pair of blingy normal for, uh, formal night shoes, which are, I'm quite frankly, they're uncomfortable anyway, right you guys? is going to be a very helpful strategy in saving space. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Another strategy, and this one's kind of bad. I was joking around with one of our subscribers, Ginger, this morning on Instagram. This is a bad strategy, you guys. Can I can get the bad mom of the year award, but my son is really tiny. He's a kid and his clothes are really easy to pack. So honestly, I think we're probably gonna be using a little bit of space in his carry-on for our own stuff because the little guy, you know, his t-shirts, his even his formal clothes, his undies, his socks, his shoes, all of that's gonna fit in a smaller space than ours, right? Because they're just taking up less footprint. So that's another strategy that I'm trying to employ. We're also going to have to really maximize the use of our personal items, so the backpack. I think my backpack is probably going to have to hold my TSA Ziploc that has all of my toiletries in it, my makeup, um, and as much stuff as I can cram into it. I'm planning on taking a shawl to keep warm on the plane and to use on um, chilly evenings on the cruise. So that shawl will probably go in there and as much stuff as I can possibly cram in without taking up space in my suitcase. So that's one thing. Another strategy I'm planning on employing is packing um, dresses because Dresses for me are a staple on a cruise. I love to wear them to dinner and I like to re-wear them because I don't find that they get dirty at dinner. We don't usually stay up real late so usually I get into my dinner wear around five and by 10 o'clock at night, it's back, it's hanging back in the closet clean-ish. So I think re-wearing dresses is probably gonna be another great strategy for packing light for me. Um, so we'll see how that goes when I get everything rolled up and put in the suitcase. Hopefully my dresses won't wrinkle too bad. I tried to be mindful of that when choosing my dresses, more cottony fabrics, um, things that aren't high maintenance, things that can be ironed if necessary. A lot of those factors I'm trying to take into consideration. So that's one of the strategies. And um, the other, the last thing I want to just mention to you guys before I jump in the chat is that I'm going to try to minimize the amount of toiletries in the TSA bag and just buy some stuff in port. You guys have been very encouraging to me to do that, to just wait until I get there and go to you know a drugstore or whatever and just p pick some of those things. So some of the items that I'm thinking that I may wait on that I might buy over there would be like sunscreen because I don't think you can really take aerosols on an airplane anyway and we generally use spray sunscreen which is probably not the best thing for us but it's just easier to apply when you've got a wiggly eight-year-old who doesn't want sunscreen on. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna jump in the chat now and hear what everybody else has to say. I'm really excited to see what I've missed. 
Um, Shanna, you want to know what is a good wrinkle reducer? I know that that downy wrinkle release is perfectly fine, and it comes in travel sizes at the at Target in the travel um, in the travel. What do you call that, you guys? The sample size aisle. They have the downy wrinkle release about this big. I think it's less than 3.4 ounces, but you might have to double check that. I don't use wrinkle releaser anymore. I used to pack it and then just never use it. I just use a steamy shower or the iron in the in the laundromats. So. Um, Nurse Nancy, great question. Nurse Nancy wants to know if we will get any souvenirs on this cruise. Nurse Nancy, I'm going to have to keep it to a minimum, without a doubt. The good thing about it is that we won't be coming back with all the toiletries, so hopefully that'll free up some space, but I'm going to be really careful about buying souvenirs. I probably won't buy as much as I bought in Alaska just for that very reason, and I can't imagine that I would want to. Maybe some coffee from Costa Rica or something like that to cram in my bag. So, Joy Wolf Channels says, what's so good about packing cubes? Well, Joy Wolf Channel, you're in the right place because I think me and most of the people here in the chat want to know what's so good about them. And we're going to talk about that real quick. And then I promised everybody in the early chat today that I would tell you which brands of packing cubes I like and what are some of my favorites and why. Um, but the, one of the reasons that we use packing cubes, and hi, mom, by the way, I noticed that you're here. Hi, mom. Um, one of the reasons that we use packing cubes, and my mom loves them too, she has them, is that you can pre-pack into them. So for example, if you're a little bit of a pre-cruise planner like me and you have a space in your closet for all your stuff that you're kind of gathering for your cruise, you can take those cubes and you can get them organized early. So for example, a few weeks ago, even though I'm not even that close to going on my cruise, I knew I was going to put my swimsuits, my cover-ups, my rash guard, and my hat in that packing cube early because I don't need those things in my life right now, so I pre-pack with them. Another reason is that they're excellent for organizing a suitcase, so they make it easier for you to shift things things around in your suitcase if necessary. You can use packing cubes to pack by clothing item, by outfit, by person, or by day. There are so many different things you can do with them. Also, many people use packing cubes when they get on the ship, they don't even unpack them. They unzip the top of them and they sort of open the packing cube, so it's like a little drawer, and they simply place it on the shelf in the closet of your cruise and then everything stays organized so you don't have things flying all over you don't you know you're, you're you've got your folded stacks but your folded stacks are sort of nicely supported by the packing cube if that makes sense so why don't you guys also add in here in the chat what you like about packing cubes i'm sure you're already doing that christine said they're great for organizing Lots and lots of things like that. Shanna wants to know, what is a rash guard? Shanna, a rash guard is what surfers wear. It's those very thin um, uh, shirts that you would wear when you're surfing, but people now use them for skin protection. I have several of them in our Amazon shop. If you want to see what they are, go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV and we have several of them there. They're basically like swimsuit material shirts that protect you from sunburn. I'm very fair. So when you watch our vlogs from the past, you'll notice that if I'm if I'm going to be in the sun for a long period of time, if you see me getting in the ocean, I'll be wearing my bikini bottom and I'll be wearing a long sleeved rash guard on the top to protect my skin because my shoulders burn in about 10 to 20 minutes. If I'm wearing sunscreen, I can get more time out of it, but I'm also trying to be a little bit more aware of skin cancer and wrinkling right now. So that, my friend, is what a rash guard is. I hope that that helps you and I highly recommend that you use them. Um, Okay, sounds good. So let's talk, let's continue you guys to talk about packing cubes. Um, I do have some, oh honey, can you go get me a packing cube that's full? There's some on top of the suitcases at the foot of um, a baby boy's bed. Thank you for that, sweetie. Okay. Um, are these my tips? Oh, thank you so much. Okay, we're going to give you a packing cube picture in just a moment. My husband just went to go get one for you, but let's talk about packing cube brands for just a moment. Um, I use several. One of the strongest and sturdiest brands of packing cubes is Eagle Creek. Eagle Creek packing cubes are also probably the most expensive out there. They tend to run a little bit smaller, but you'll notice that the stitching and fabric is extremely thick and durable. However, there are many, many, many different types of packing cubes. Some of the types that we use are e-bags, shack pack, and I'm trying to remember the other third brand right now, but I can't remember. Oh, my husband just brought me a whole stack of them. Excellent. Here, put those right here, and I will show them off. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you an example of an Eagle Creek packing cube right now. 
This is my son's already packed Eagle Creek packing cube. As you can see, it's a little bit tiny. This is a very, very thick fabric compared to other cubes. Here's a handle on the top of it so you can pull it out of the bag and fling it around really easily. It does have a small mesh little viewing area, but really super sturdy. So I'll kind of show you how this looks and what I've done. This is my son's pajamas, socks, and hat for our cruise. And so you're just kind of staying organized. Let me show you the slightly larger um, Eagle Creek. This is a bigger Eagle Creek, and this has my son's um, pretty much everything else in it. So his all of his formal clothes, his t-shirts, his shorts, even his little tie for formal night is packed nicely and organized beautifully into this. And again, these are in our shop um, at Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. We will definitely make sure that we get the Eagle Creek sets in there if they're not. They are expensive guys, but they're worth it. Here's an example of one of the many pieces that comes in the Shack Pack packing cube set. This um, Shack Pack set is a series of four or five packing cubes that also comes with a laundry bag for under $30. Also can be found in our shop. They come in beautiful colors. This is just a basic black. What I like about these is the variety of sizes. So when you get a set of shack cubes, you're gonna be getting small to large, several of them. So you can really look at your family's packing needs and kind of determine who gets what, or you can separate by color. So what we do in our family is, um, usually my son uses blue and um, black. I usually like the really bright green or pink ones. And my husband has teal packing cubes. So we also then have our packing cubes separated out by person. Um, you don't have to do that, but it can be a nice way to go. So hopefully that's been a good enough summary of um, what we think about packing cubes and all of that. We will definitely add some more sets to the shop on Amazon today, and we will link to our shop below. Um, when this saves to replay, give us some time to do that, but we'll have it in there probably by the end of the day. Okay, yeah, Nurse Nancy, I like how the Shack Pack cubes look as well. I also really like their customer service. Um, I like their prices and I like their variety of colors. I think they have some really beautiful colors. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of virtues there. <laughs> I, you know, I, you can't go wrong with them. They're really pretty. Um, I also should add you guys that Amazon Basics has beautiful packing cubes. The green set that I have, those really pretty limey green ones are Amazon Basics and they have some really cool ones. They have a slim set, they have regular sets with varieties, they have a whole pack of medium ones, all kinds. Okay. Great, great, great. So I'm going to go ahead and answer some of the questions that you've had in the chat thus far. Here we go. Um, let's see here. Fully. Oh, these are some tips. Very good. Okay, Felicia Dyer has a tip on packing light. Never pack more than one carry-on. Use the laundromats and or free laundries for sweets. Oh, great, Felicia. So you're an avid carry-on packer. Then stick around because we want to keep leveraging your tips. Nurse Nancy said, I like that tip about having your base color to mix and match when packing. Yeah, Nurse Nancy, I know someone in the chat earlier was saying to pack lots of black base color. That's a really good idea, too. And a lot of people who do capsule wardrobes will definitely go with a base color and then build upon that as well. Shanna LeGrant said, I know you love packing cubes. What do you suggest is the best way to pack using them? Roll or fold help? Shanna, we do both. I roll and fold into a packing cube depending on the person and what item of clothing. If I had to say what I do the most, usually I fold, but to be quite honest, since we're going carry on only, I will be rolling because rolling is more space efficient. I also have learned that if you have some thinner items, like a small thin t-shirt, it's best to roll that item into a pair of shorts or something. So rather than rolling up a teeny tiny thin white tee, take it, lay it flat over a pair of shorts, and roll the two items together into a little bundle is what I've heard can be a very good thing. Okay. John Pagani said, if I use a vacuum cleaner to use vac packs, how do you pack for the return? Borrow a vacuum cleaner. John, that's so funny. We get this question a lot, actually. You might notice that on our um, Grand Princess Vlogs to Alaska, guys, we did take vacuum bags and we took a hand pump. The hand pump came with them. There is a set of packing um, compression bags in our shop from Lan Shuan. They're called vacuum compression bags, and they come with a blue hand pump that will fit in your suitcase that's a little bit taller than my LaCroix, a little thinner and taller, and you literally pump the air out of it. My husband and I did that with our pillows and all of our bulky jackets, and it worked great. Canal and Nilla says, how far in advance do you start laying out the clothes and decide which clothes to take with you? Canala, sometimes I do it months in advance, but I get really serious about it about a month before. 
Um, Shanna said, when packing for a seven day, what do you suggest for multi-wear outfits? By this I mean, what tips do you have about packing things that you can wear multiple times? Shanna, my suggestion to you is if you like, personally, I like dresses. So your fashion style, your style is gonna be different from mine, but the, my strategy is dresses, dresses, dresses. Um, and then I will wear, I'll, I'll pack dresses that are nice enough to wear to dinner, but are a good enough fabric to wear on a warm day. So for example, a cotton maxi dress might double as a dinner dress and a great port dress with a change of shoes. You could add a hat for the port day and some blingy necklaces for formal night. There's so many different ways you could leverage it. Um, but you could also do things like capri pants. I've heard of people doing like ankle length pants. They're almost like shorts, but you can wear them to dinner and you could wear them over and over again in maybe a darker or neutral color so they don't get stained, maybe avoid white things like that. Teresa G said, Sherry, you were saying about wanting to take wine on your next cruise, but liquor stores are closed on Sundays. Some hotels will allow you to have things shipped to them. Can they hold till you check in? Yes. I've Everyone shared that with me a week or two ago that you can have things shipped to your room. I've actually decided I probably won't take wine on this cruise, so we'll see what's, what happens, but I'll probably just spend the money and buy the drinks on board because I don't want to deal with the hassle. But it depends on the counties um, in Florida. I don't think every county has liquor stores closed all day on Sundays, so we should be okay. Shanna wants to know, do we pack everything in packing cubes? Are there any other packing containers you suggest? Shanna, other than our toiletry bags, which you can see in our past Pack With Me videos, we do pack pretty much everything in packing cubes, except for large peripheral stuff that can float loose. Like for example, my curling iron, I'm gonna let float loose. Our shoes are not gonna go in packing cubes. Those are gonna be things that we squeeze into the remaining spaces after we've put things in packing cubes, we're gonna leverage them into spaces around the packing cubes because they don't really belong in packing cubes. Does that make sense? Okay. Ginger Johnson said, are you going to skip taking your own pillows? Oh my gosh, Ginger. I have to think about that. Honey, are we gonna take our pillows and the compression? I don't think we're gonna be able to, Ginger. I think we're gonna have to leave them home. I should have put that on my list. Boy, the neck aches that could ensue from that decision could be really bad. We are so sensitive to our own pillows, but I think Ginger, they're gonna have to stay home. Um, Shanna LeGrant said, what type of backpack do you suggest? I didn't see one on your cruise gear channel. Shanna, I have one that I've been using for a while that I haven't done a video review on. Um, honey, could I ask you to go get it for me? It's in my next cruise bin. It's the, um, the military green one. You got it? Isn't he so good to me, you guys? He fetches something every darn time we do a live stream. He's so precious, I love him. Um, Shanna, I will show it to you and I will put it in our Amazon shop. I think it's already in there, but just in case, I'll let you know. Um, I haven't done a review on it yet because I hadn't road tested it yet when I got it. And you guys know that I really don't like to recommend things through a video especially if I haven't used them. I've had some bad experiences with that in the past. With a, We had a backpack that really fell apart and we had recommended it through a video and then after three or four trips, that sucker fell apart. And then we had some of our subscribers tell us the same thing. It was, we we're just more cautious about things like that, but I'll show you what it is. It's really cheap and it's actually, it folds into itself, so it's kind of cool. All right. Thanks, you guys, for your kind words about the hubby. He's a sweetie. Pauline, I love your idea. Cut down two of your dresses and bring your pillow. Pauline, this is the battle. This is the struggle. The struggle is real. How will I leave two dresses behind? I'm telling you guys, I'm a problem over packer. But Pauline, I like the way you think. It's all about compromise. So you, we shall see. We shall see. Nurse Nancy said, what about medications? I get paranoid not having enough just in case over the counter meds. Nurse Nancy, that's an excellent question. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing another video called Pack With Me. And in that video, I'm gonna show you my medicine pouch. I use a mesh packing pouch that's about this big, and I do pack all the medications our family could need in there. It generally, for our family, includes a certain type of medication that maybe is totally different for you. Thank you so much, honey. I'll show you the backpack real quick and then we'll come back to the medicine. Um, this is the Oryxin little fold into itself backpack that you'll see in all of my Alaska vlogs, very prominently displayed on my back. It is not pretty, you guys, but I really like a lightweight backpack and this is it. And it was cheap, I just got it on Amazon. So let us put this in the shop for you all and um, make sure that you get it there. But yeah, it just opens right up and out comes the backpack and then this becomes one of the pockets of the backpack. It's pretty cool. I always use these. I don't know why. I like the lightweight. I don't want any extra weight on my back. So 
Yeah. Okay, Nurse Nancy, back to our medication bag. And I'm really curious to hear what kind of medications you guys pack because I know everyone's different. For me, personally, the only medication I normally need is ibuprofen. You know, breathing in all the recycled air, not getting enough sleep, I need pain reliever. So I generally pack one of the little Target sample size tubes, for lack of a better word, that has about 25 ibuprofen tablets. Um, we also pack some kind of cold or allergy medication for the whole family, but not a huge amount of it. So I'm gonna have things like my son's allergy medication because as you guys know, he has very mild, a few very mild nut allergies that are not anaphylactic, but they do need to be addressed quickly because he rashes around the mouth and he can throw up if he gets if he gets certain kinds of nuts. So we have to carry Benadryl with us at all times. It's not a big deal, but we have to be aware. So for him, it's baby Benadryl in little chewable tablets. Um, and um, I also pack a few packets of Theraflu. Um, my mom recommends Alka-Seltzer Cold Plus that comes in little teeny tiny tablets. All of these are very small and I don't pack all of it. I just take out several packets and I put it in my bag in case something were to happen and it would buy us time to assess what's going on. How bad is the illness? Can we wait till we get to a port to buy more medication? Do we have to go to the medical center? Do we need to splurge and buy the darned medicine at the gift shop? What do we need to do? Um, my husband generally nothing. He's not a medicine person. He's going to suffer and you know deal with it. But we've we've all been sick on a cruise before. We've all gotten colds. It's happened. It's just life. Um, especially when you cruise during flu season, which we usually do. So I'm going to see what you guys say about your medication. I'm sure that there's people in here saying what they've got. Yes, um, Mel said um, you needed aspirin because of a random breakout. Sadly, you didn't have it. Yeah, pain reliever is probably the number one thing I would recommend that people pack. Pain reliever can also double as fever reducer, and we've found that that's very helpful too. My husband got quite sick on a cruise one time with a pretty severe fever in the middle of a cruise too, like, ugh, and he benefited from some fever reducer. Cheryl, you said you're like a walking pharmacy. You're so afraid of needing something that you can't spend an arm and a leg. I know, me too. It's so true. Bernie by the sea, this is a great list. Tylenol, Benadryl, Dramamine, Band-Aids, eye drops, antibiotic ointment. Yes, Bernie by the sea. I always have antibiotic ointment too. I forgot to mention that. We also take cortisone cream in the event that we have an, a bug bite or an itch and Band-Aids too. Q-tips, maybe, things like that. Um, Okay, let's see here. Felicia said you can get seasick pills and Tylenol free at the front desk. I didn't know that, Felicia. That's really cool. Um, let's see here. Shalice brings cold medicine in tablet form, Theraflu, aspirin, and allergy medicine. Uh, let's see here. Um, Bonnie wants to know if anyone knows of a good large waist pack. You have a bad shoulder, no backpack or totes. Bonnie, we'll look for you. We'll see if we can find something for you. Um, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, can you help me find a waist pack for Bonnie on Amazon? We'll try to find you something like Bonnie, Bonnie like a fanny pack. <laughs> I have a fanny pack. It's really ugly, but we'll see if we can find it for you. Garlanda um, said Advil sinus, extra strength Tylenol, antihistamines for hubby and liquid Tylenol cold. Anti-diarrheal, um, Cheryl said that's a good idea. Yes, Elizabeth Breen gets her band-aids at the Dollar, Dollar Tree. Shalice has a small first aid kit as well. Okay, let's see here. I want to see what else I've got. Okay. Barbara wants to take another look at the bag. Can you hold it up? Sure, Barbara, the, the backpack? Yeah, hold it up on your other side. Sure, Barbara, I'm sorry about that. Did I hold it up on the chat side? This is the Oryx and backpack. Here you go, Barbara. But we'll put it in the, um, we'll put it in the shop for you. It's nice. It's really light too. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe six ounces or so. Probably under $15 too, knowing me, I'm a total cheapskate. And you know what I do with these too, Barbara? I wash them in the washing machine. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I like to be able to wash stuff. I'm a no dry cleaning kind of girl. So if it doesn't go in the washing machine, it doesn't come to my house. So, yeah. Okay, Catherine, that's a good one. Don't forget to pack Tums, excellent. Ah, Bonnie, sunburn stuff with aloe, very good. Bonnie, I like, Elizabeth's giving you a tip. Sack Roots makes really cute fanny packs. Yeah, Elizabeth, I've seen those, I think at Macy's. That's a good tip. She's probably gonna have better luck finding them at Macy's or something like that. Okay, 
Let's see here. Joy Wolf, do I have any tip, hot tips for your seven night cruise? Yeah, you know, then we have a million of them. Watch our episodes, hang out in the live streams with us, and I think my number one tip is try to go with a really good attitude. You know what, things are gonna go wrong on your cruise. You gotta get up in there and enjoy it anyway. You're on a moving vessel, you're at sea, you're at the mercy of weather, you're at the mercy of grumpy passengers. Things are gonna happen, be happy. Enjoy yourself. Don't let little things bug you. Now that's true with any vacation, but that's our number one advice that we like to give people. Michael DeBoard, what a great tip, especially a packing light tip. Small sewing kit has saved you. Yes, Poppy Rushing takes handy wipes. Excellent. Very, very good. Gail said medication for constipation too. Yeah, Gail, definitely, that's a good one. Um, Felicia said that some cruise lines will even give you a free sewing kit. Oh, I love Princess Cruises free sewing kits. They're so fancy. They come with um, needles that are already threaded. So they have like 10 needles with 10 different colors of thread. Fabulous, I have one at my desk at work that I saved from a Princess Cruise. And I love that thing. It is the best thing ever. Cool, I know Nurse Nancy, so many what ifs, right? Terrible at usernames says, I always suggest aloe spray with lidocaine for sunburns. Yes, definitely. Teresa said, make sure you keep stuff in your um, original bottles if you're packing your prescriptions. Very nice. All right, Lisa said, take disinfecting wipes or sprays for your cabin. Disinfect the TV, remote, phone, door handles, etc." Lisa, you are one of my people. Welcome to the germaphobe club, totally true. Aw, did you give Bonnie some sack root packs? Thank you very much. Boy, Mr. Cruise Tips TV is instant service today. Oh, Pauline, you said Vera Bradley has cute fanny packs at their outlet store. Vera Bradley has some stuff on Amazon too. They do have cute stuff and I love the softness of the Vera Bradley um, fabric. Tiffany, welcome. Don't worry, you can, um, you can watch the replay. It's a-okay. All right. Oh, Mel, safety pins, what an excellent thing. Very, very good idea. Okay, let's see here. All right, guys, let's bring in some more tips. I'm gonna ask you all some questions too for things I wanna kind of get you all thinking about. Do any of you, are you listening? We need you. Do any of you know of any cool high-tech carry-on bags that you want us to review or look at? Any brands in particular? We'd really love to know that. I also would love to know what brands of packing cubes you all have used that you haven't seen us use so that we can buy them and review them. As you know, we've bought and probably reviewed eBags, Eagle Creek, Shack, and Amazon Basics. So please let me know. So while I'm reading a few more questions and tips, why don't you all go ahead and tell me if you know of any cool high-tech carry-on bags you want us to look at and tell me what other brands of packing cubes you want us to look at. And Luke, I'm gonna answer your question right now. Let's see, this may not be a packing question, but how should one go about doing laundry on a Royal Caribbean seven day cruise? I think Luke that you have to pay to have it done, unfortunately. I don't think they have self-serve laundry on Royal Caribbean. So what you would do is pay them. Um, the other option too is not to do laundry or to do a little bit of laundry in your sink and hang it up in the shower to dry. People do that all the time. I know it sounds weird, but you can pack a little wee bit of detergent and do a little laundry in your sink. Take a couple of um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking out on what they're called? Honey, what are the things called th that you put laundry on the line with? I'm losing clothes it. Pins. Clothes pins. Luke, I just forgot what clothes pins were. Am I, <laughs> has it really been that long of a week? Pack a few clothes pins and then you can affix them to the line that goes across your shower and wash your own stuff or just pack enough stuff and don't do laundry at all. That's an option too. Good question. Okay. Yeah, I don't think, John, that Royal Caribbean has self-serve laundry or ironing rooms. I think you have to send it all out, which is a huge bummer. It's actually a deterrent for us to sail on a line that doesn't have them. Drives me crazy. Um, Michael said, I wish I'd bought, brought a spare swimsuit to port last time. The class broke and hubby had to use a shoelace to tie it. Yeah. Am I saying your name wrong? Let me know. Um, Mike in Jersey said you like Begale packing cubes. I don't know how you say that, but I've seen those before. Thank you for that. We will try them. I want to try new cubes. It's something that we're always, always looking um, at. Okay, Mercedes de Oreo said, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, they are interested in the Away smart luggage. Okay, good, we'll make a note of that. Thank you so much. Nurse Nancy said your son forgot socks on one trip and you washed the socks every night, but you did get by. Yeah, it, it can be done. You can wash them in the sink. 
Pauline says Royal Caribbean has a special fill a bag for $20 halfway through the cruise. That's not bad. I know that um, Norwegian's fill a bag is $30. So that's really good. Liberty Cruiser said that Royal Caribbean will do a bag of laundry for $40. So it looks like they, the prices vary on that. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of really good tips come in here. Becky said the Samsonite small carry-on with zippered pockets that snap out and can hang it. Okay, cool. Um, yes. Uh, Charity, we have already reviewed the IKEA family packing cubes. They are wonderful. We have a hilarious video here on Cruise Tips TV. Just go ahead and search on the video list for IKEA packing cubes. My husband had a blast with that one. We did a funny edit on it. Bonnie said you take shout wipes and Lewis and Clark wrinkle whiz for your wrinkle reducer. Excellent. Very good. Mom, did you just ask if I'm hangry? You're so funny. No, I'm not hangry. I'm doing okay. <laughs> you are a crack up, Mama D. Oh gosh, so funny. You guys, my mom is going with us on this cruise, so she, we're particularly having a fun time planning right now. We're getting really excited. Okay. Yeah, Jessica, Norwegian's $30 laundry. Felicia, you use Travel Pro. Is Travel Pro a luggage brand? Not packing cubes, right? Travel Pro is made by flight attendants. They're extremely lightweight. Excellent. Thank you. I might look for some of those at discount stores like TJ Maxx and stuff. Do you think they sell them at the discount stores, Felicia? Let me know. Okay, April said Royal Caribbean used to offer a discount on laundry if you're a member of the Crown and Anchor. Awesome. Jeff said, I purchased laundry service on my upcoming cruise to Tahiti. The cruise line will do all of your laundry every day. And for the seven day cruise, it was only $65. Now that sounds nice. Jeff, you were on Paul Gauguin, right? Didn't we talk about that? I think you were. That's cool. Um, Elizabeth, does Royal Caribbean has ni have nice kids club? Yes, they do. They have great kids clubs. They're very highly rated among the cruise industry, among, among the mainstream lines. They are excellent. Ha <laughs> ha. That's great. Okay. So someone wants us to try travel on packing cubes. There's another one for you. All right. Donna's been using easy packing cubes. They are more structured. Ooh, I like structured. Very, very cool. Another request for Ikea packing cubes. Oh, Susan, your Ikea packing cubes didn't survive the 11 year old packing them. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> um, Mel said to pack some dishwashing liquid because of your insulated cups. Mel, that is a really good tip. And I think a lot of people don't wash their cups when they refill them on board and that is not a very sanitary idea. So, okay, Kanala said remote, Ramoa hardcover carry-on and Samsonite soft cover. Okay, very good. So that was a good one for you. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for letting me know I'm saying your name right. Okay. Easy packing cubes from Donna. Making sure I'm pack not missing any packing cubes. Julie, I'm so glad that you watch our live streams um, when you do housework only. Bonnie, Mama's probably not going to travel carry-on only because it might be a struggle for her to get her bag into the overhead compartment, and we don't want her to add that stress. So she's going to let the airlines probably take care of her. Could she do it? Oh, yeah. She's a packing ninja, too. But um, she probably won't. And I'm going to have her bring bug spray for me so I don't have to pack it. So, yeah. Okay. Mm, James, what's Aomidi? That's an interesting name. Let's see. Donna said BJ's sells Travel Pro from time to time. I don't have a BJ's here. Okay. Tiffany wants to know if you need to have your prescription medication in their original bottles. You're a cancer survivor and on 11 medications going on Carnival in three weeks. Tiffany, I've heard mixed um, answers on this. If I were you, I would probably take them in those, in those bottles if you can. Um, maybe take some of the medication out and leave it at home if it's a concern for you. And I wish you the best of luck with your recovery. Okay, um, Bago packing cubes, Chalice. Okay, Bago, that's a good one, thank you. Bonnie uses cruise credit for having to ship to your laundry. That's a really good idea. Jeff, you're leaving next weekend for Paul Gauguin. How wonderful, have a wonderful time on our bucket list cruise, my friend. I know that it's yours too, I'm really excited for you, yeah. Um, Pauline, I'm not going to be taking my camera lens coffee cup. In fact, I don't think I'm going to take a coffee cup. I think that's going to be one of my sacrifices on my packing light. Don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Okay. Um, ooh, Jessica said Air Canada packing cubes from Walmart in Canada. All right. Love to hear about that. Okay. Robert said, what tool do you use to shrink your clothes down to tiny size for packing? 
I use that thing from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You know, the one where the guy goes and stands in front of the shrinker machine? That's the one I use. But no, in all seriousness, Robert, we use um, a pump compression bag system that is in our Amazon shop from Lan Chuan. They are really great. I don't know if we're going to do it on this cruise, though, because I don't want it to be too heavy. Yeah? The Willy Wonka one is too expensive. The Willy Wonka one is too expensive, Robert. We can't afford it. So <laughs> just having a little fun with you. All right. You guys are um, giving me so many great tips today. Thank you very much for helping me with this. Um, wow, Bonnie, that's a, that's a nice luggage set. My goodness. Pauline said I should have my mom pack my sunscreen spray. That's not a bad idea, Pauline. Mom, you want to take my sunscreen? We can buy it at the drugstore. Don't worry. I'm just joking. I'm not going to make you pack all my stuff. Catherine, that's a great idea about the bug wipes. I looked on Amazon for mosquito repellent wipes, and they were really pricey. They were something like... Um, 15 bucks for 15 wipes? Is that expensive? It seems like it. Bonnie said she keeps her medication in the original bottle. So if that helps you to know what you should do, it might be a good idea. Okay. Catching up, guys. Bear with me. More tips about Begale um, packing cubes. Lots of people talking about the fact that they take their, how they pack their prescriptions. Very good. Okay, Nadia, you're getting the pump for Alaska too. All right, we're going to read a few more things here. Guys, we have 15 more minutes, so if you have any questions, please go ahead and bring them in. Gail, our pillows are not memory foam. They're just regular down. Um, Ms. Jumbo Jet, I would wait to book your massage when you're on the ship because they have discounts. So that's how I would do it, unless there's a time that you must have that massage. If there's a day and time when you must have it, wait. That's what I would do. Okay, I'm checking for other questions on the screen. Yes, Robert, we do. We will give you a link to our store where you can buy the compression bags. It is, um, for, it's very easy to find though. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV and they're the Lan Chuan compression bags. They are in there. Okay, here we go. Pauline said, don't forget to stuff all of your, sh your socks into your shoes. That's an excellent tip for packing light and saving space. Charlene Williams said, taking my twin infants nine months on Oasis of the Seas. Anything we should not leave without? Yes. Charlene, pack more diapers than you think you could ever need. Pack more diapers than you think you could ever need. Don't pack a lot of food for your child. Not a lot of snacks. That will go to waste. There's plenty of food on the ship for them unless they're extremely picky eaters. And at nine months, I know they're probably still on, you know, formula, breast milk, or whatever. So try not to overpack that, but it's diapers that you're going to need because you don't want to have to buy them on board. I also recommend that you take an ample amount of fever reducer. In the event that your child gets sick, you want to have that. I would definitely make sure you have a stroller, but I'm sure you're taking one. The smaller, the better. Umbrella strollers are great, but with twins, I don't know how you want to do that, but you need a stroller to save your sanity. Trust me on that one. Um, I made that mistake once and it was terrible. Hopefully that helps, Charlene, for the, the twin infants. If anybody else has any tips for Charlene on the infants, please leave them in the, in the um, chat. Octavia said, do you put your former wear in a packing cube? Normally I don't, Octavia. Normally I leave it on a hanger and I put it in plastic wrap, but this time it is getting rolled and put in a packing cube because I'm packing light. Joy Wolf said, I'm going on a seven night cruise. Oh, I already got that one. Claudia Altamura, can my son, 16 years old, enter the casino? No, he cannot. Um, your son has to be either 18 or 21. I don't know which one, probably 21, but he cannot. Excellent, we got through some more questions. I have one for yeah. him. Okay. We were talking about bug repellent. Yes. Has anybody used the bracelets? Has anybody used the bug repellent bracelets? Please let us know. We're really strongly considering getting those instead of putting the chemicals all over our bodies and our son's bodies. Please let us know. Um, Stephanie, yes, I, you, we do get credit when you shop in our Amazon store or using our Amazon affiliate link. We do get a small commission, but you do not pay any more for your products. Very important. It is, there's, it's very common for people to have Amazon affiliate links. There's no upcharge to you. Um, we'll link to it after this goes live. Okay, great tip, Elizabeth, on the skin so soft. I remember as a child, my mom would always have skin so soft bath oil around, and it was so neat to learn that that was a bug repellent. So cool, neat. Um, Vernon has a tip. They used princess valet, and then 
let's see, you put the luggage outside your cabin and then you didn't have to deal with it again until you got back home to your home airport. That's so nice, Vernon. So what Vernon's referring to, you guys, Princess Valet is a service that takes your luggage from your stateroom the night before you leave all the way to the airport. The luggage makes its way onto the plane without you having to check it on and then it meets you at your home airport. So it doesn't even go on the shuttle with you. It's just a nice service. Hey, Vernon, how much does that cost? Would you mind sharing with us? Okay, um, Elaine wants to know, does anyone know the best way to keep formal dresses and suits in the best condition without creases whilst packing? Yes, Elaine, strongly suggest that if you are not trying to pack light, you leave them on the hanger and then you take a plastic dry cleaning bag and you pack each dress or formal uh, wear item in that and lay it flat on the top of your suitcase when you're done packing or pack it in a garment bag. That should answer your question. James used citronella bands to keep the bugs away. We're really concerned about that on our next cruise because there are some very humid ports that are known for mosquitoes um, that were going on in Panama Canal, like Limon, Costa Rica, for example. Okay, so the bracelets do work is what I'm seeing from Sophia. Okay, Christine said we should test any sprays before going on vacation. Yes, our son is a rash man, so we definitely need to do that, Christine. Thank you so much. Um, very interesting about the Avon being an allergy. Okay. Bonnie said the bug bracelets don't work for you. Post hurricane and you really need a D. And Bonnie lives in Florida, guys. So I trust Bonnie's judgment on this bug thing. So for you, no, a no go. Okay. Elizabeth said you like the bug bracelets and also a pressure and pressure point bracelets for sickness. Yes. I love those. I love my C bands. Um, Stephanie, you can use the Amazon app, but what you want to do is you start shopping at our, at our affiliate link. So the best place to find that would be, where should she go to find that directly? The affiliate link? The, yeah. The one that's not associated with our shop. She can just go to the shop and start the shopping there. What, yep. You can go to the app, but what we can do is we'll put our link, our, our Amazon affiliate link is in a lot of the descriptions of our videos, but we'll try to link to it here. What we'll do is you'll see two different links. You'll see one that goes directly to our shop and one that's just a general Amazon link. And yes, everything you buy if you start your shopping there does. Thank you so much for your kindness. We really do appreciate it and it does help. Um, we keep our, our tech supplies replenished that way. Batteries, SD cards and stuff. I know we've told, talked about this before. Sorry for repeating it, but okay. We're gonna start getting ready to wrap up, you guys. We're getting close to an hour now. Uh, answer a few more questions now, so make sure you get those questions in. Joy Wolf said, how many cruises have you gone on in a year? The most we've ever done in one year, Joy, is four, but we average two to four per year, generally speaking. Not as many as people think, really. Um, Allison said that dryer sheets are a bug repellent as well. Megan Leaf Ewing said the bracelets don't work, but Off has a botanicals cream that uses eucalyptus and works great. Okay, so those mosquitoes don't like eucalyptus, Megan. Good to know. Jennifer used Bug X Pro leather mosquito repellent bracelets. Um, okay, great. Those worked out well, too. We'll make a note of that. Um, Ciara said you used one called Repel. It's essential oil-based, and you used it in the Caribbean. Not one bug bite in sight. Excellent. I'm afraid I'm, I'm a mosquito target. They like my skin for some reason. Okay. Let's see here. Autobot said I pack off and carry on size at all times since it's three ounces. Why not? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Excellent. Okay. Very good. So lots of dryer sheet tips coming in. That's great. Pauline's tip is um, she only takes one formal for the week. No one will care if you wear the same dress twice. They won't care and they won't notice. And you could change your necklace or something and people really won't care. I think that's so true. Um, Elaine is saying, I would recommend the Moustacare anti-mosquito bracelets. They worked well for you. Very good. Okay, last minute questions, guys. Get them in the chat real quick so that we don't miss them because we're going to sign off very soon here. This has been really fun. I've learned so much from everyone and I really appreciate it. So next up, we're going to do our pack with me video so you can actually see if I can pull this off. I'm going to force myself to pull it off. There may be tears. There may be kicking and screaming. No, I'm just kidding. But um, you will see a video where we pack. I may not show you every piece of clothing this time, so you're gonna have to wait until we film our outfit of the day from Panama Canal because I'm gonna have it scrunched up and rolled into the suitcases. So you might not see the nitty gritty detail like I usually show where I show all my dresses on hangers and things like that. So please be patient and just watch the outfit of the day later on when we're on board. N Nurse Nancy, yes, I do leave my purse behind on a cruise. I do not take a purse. I only take my wallet and my car keys 
and then I leave my purse at home. Great question. I just incorporate my wallet and my car keys into my backpack, and then I never use a purse on a cruise at all. I only use a backpack or my lanyard. That's it. Okay. Um, Nadia, you're looking for some repellents for Alaska. And you may not need a repellent in Alaska. It just really depends. It's, I got a huge bug bite on my neck at the bear viewing sanctuary. Like my husband actually saw two of them. My husband actually saw the, the, the half an hour period when it happened because he was filming me. And there was just this giant red thing on my neck that you guys will see in the vlogs from Alaska. So that was in Ketchikan and it, it can happen for sure. Okay. Oh, wow, Teresa. I didn't know that they preferred O plus blood. That's crazy. Pauline, you think I can get my pillows in? Okay, well, they are skinny pillows, so maybe. Um, let's see here. Looking for those last minute questions. Joy Wolf, how much jewelry do I pack? Um, I do not pack valuable jewelry at all, and I don't even own valuable jewelry, by the way, but I pack probably, I pack jewelry for every day. I like, um, these Pura Vida bracelets are my favorite. I usually pack earrings and bra um, necklaces for formal nights and things like that. So I do pack jewelry and I pack it in a jewelry roll, which we will definitely show you in our pack with me video that is coming soon getting those last minute um, things going here. Jenny's cruise and travel vlogs. Hi, Jenny, I've enjoyed following you on Instagram. It's nice to meet you. Um, very, you're very, very welcome. We, we love interacting with everyone. So cool. Okay. Lisa wants to know if I have room for her in my packing cubes for Panama. Yes, Lisa, I do. I know you can scrunch in tight. You come right along with us. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Liberty Cruiser said, my husband works for a pest control company. The bugs that bite him die. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. Oh my gosh. Vernon, something tells me the bugs don't even bite you though, right? Okay. Oh my goodness sakes. See, Bonnie, that's why I'm really afraid to check my luggage on a flight. I really just want to carry it on. Nicole, you got the job. You guys, Nicole had asked us in one of our last live streams how she should approach her interview. Um, in her interview, telling them that she had a cruise planned and we, we all strategized and gave her some advice. You got the job and you got the time off for your cruise. Congratulations. That is wonderful. Okay. All right, you guys, we are going to wrap it up soon. I see a couple more questions, I'll answer them. Nurse Nancy, yes, I simplify my makeup, I, I tone it way back, I minimize the number of brushes I pack and I usually only take one or two eyeshadow palettes. So I do minimize and I will show you how I'm gonna do that um, for my Panama Canal one. And Shalice, will put the jewelry rolls in our Amazon store. I got mine, I got mine on Amazon. I'll put it in there for you. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you for our next two live streams. Once again, just to give you those dates, it is November the 18th, which is a Saturday, 12 o'clock Pacific time, and December 2nd, noon Pacific. So we will have no live stream on Thanksgiving weekend. So enjoy your Thanksgivings, of course. We'll see you before then. But we're kind of back to our twice a week posting schedule now. Watch for all of our fun vlogs. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and our Cruise Gear channel and turn on those notifications. Thank you guys so much for joining the live chat today. We had so much fun with you and we're gonna use your tips for our cruise. Stay tuned for lots and lots more videos to come. Until next time, see you on the high seas. Bye-bye. Cruise around the week. <laughs>